Welcome back to MG Marine Tech. Today, we are gonna be talking about Garmin's new trolling motor, the Kraken. This trolling motor has been out for several weeks now, and it's gonna be replacing my Tarova that you see currently on the Lund. What we're gonna be talking about today is a general overview of the Kraken itself, some of the very cool features that Garmin has come up with, as well as what is in the box. And as always, guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so. 15,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away a live scope plus system so stay tuned for that and let's dive right in here she is this is the kraken let's get this thing unboxed and show you exactly what you're going to get when you purchase one of these things here it is completely unboxed this is everything that you can expect when you purchase just the kraken trolling motor itself this is the 75 inch version and it is the same for the other uh, lengths as well. I believe the 90 might come with a stabilizer. For the 60 inch version and the 75 inch version, this is what you would get. So obviously you get the trolling motor, that is a given. With your kit inside, you have your transducer uh, extension cable and the little nut for that. And again, these don't come on here on the end of the cable. So you can fit these through smaller holes. Uh, you get the mounting hardware kit, lanyard, and then the remote high efficiency prop and nut kit, as well as the instructions that nobody is going to read. And in there is a mounting template that you can see in the back. So that is everything that comes with your Garmin Kraken trolling motor. And there's one thing that you didn't see because it does not come with them. And that is a foot pedal controller. If I'm being honest, this kind of did shock me that a trolling motor these days would not ship with or include a foot pedal controller and Garmin just sends only the remote controller. For me, not a huge deal other than not having the backup uh, option of controlling the trolling motor. Don't really need it if you have the remote and my style of fishing doesn't really dictate that you need the foot pedal. It is a good idea to have the foot pedal with you as a backup means of controlling the trolling motor. Say this falls in the water. Now side note to that, these are floating remotes so if you do drop this in the water it is going to float you're not going to lose it unless you just purely can't find it if you guys are a foot pedal person or you want that backup means of being able to control your trolling motor you're definitely going to need to purchase the foot pedal separately let's talk about some of my favorite features the majority of which can be found on the business end of the new Kraken trolling motor. Starting off with the built-in GT56 transducer. The Force had the GT54, so the Kraken received the updated and upgraded GT56 transducer. Both of them have the 24 or 36 volt brushless trolling motor. It's the same part number for either of them. So that means that this trolling motor can be ran in 24 volts or 36 volts right out of the box they'll run either or being brushless this means a couple of things for you guys number one longer run times out of your batteries being that the brushless motor is more efficient and more powerful and you are not going to have interference on your sonar when you turn on your trolling motor that is a huge thing you know i see a lot of people have that issue with brush style of trolling motors and their garments Possibly one of my favorite features of this new trolling motor is this little guy right here and this little guy. Now these are the mounting locations for Garmin's integrated live scope mounting system and cable management system. So there is an additional bracket that you have to buy here. It's an, actually an install kit. Once you have that kit, it allows you to run your live scope transducer cable through the shaft of the trolling motor and it'll come out of the head of the trolling motor meaning your live scope transducer cable is protected from any dings, dents, cuts, nicks, whatever it may be. You guys will also notice that the footprint or the mounting footprint of the Garmin Kraken is very similar to a Minn Kota Tarova and much, much smaller than the existing Garmin Force mounting footprint. One of the biggest gripes that I've always seen people complain about with their force is its lack of ability to keep an accurate spot lock location, especially in low current conditions or really, really calm water conditions and the trolling motor would whip the boat back and forth. Garmin has done a couple of things 
to alleviate these issues. Now, number one, they added dual frequency GPS to these. So you're going to get a much more accurate GPS location. Obviously that is gonna help you guys stay spot locked much more accurately. This is also gonna give you a much better GPS signal when you're in subpar conditions. Say it's extremely overcast, raining, snowing, whatever you're out in, it's gonna be able to cut through that stuff much better as well as if you are under trees or your view of the sky was obstructed for whatever reasons, buildings, bridges, uh, whatever it may be, you're going to have a better GPS signal there. One of the other things that they did is they updated the algorithms inside the trolling motor to help with the spot lock. It's especially gonna help on those calm day conditions. And one of the really, really cool things that they did with these algorithms is they allowed the trolling motor to now spin the prop backwards. So this means that instead of that trolling motor having to spin almost 180 degrees around and spin the prop in its normal direction, it can simply stay in the same direction and spin the prop backwards to apply thrust in the opposite direction. I think it's probably one of the only trolling motors on the market that has this feature built in. Um, so I'm excited to get this thing out on the water and show you guys its spot locking cap capabilities. There you have it. That is what is in the box of a new Garmin Kraken trolling motor, as well as a general overview of all the new features of this trolling motor. Now, if you guys are in the market, please head on over to mgmarinetech.com. I'd be happy to help you guys out. It is a great way to further support this channel. I love doing this content for you guys and I'm gonna try and keep it up as best as I can. I'm gonna have some install videos, installing it on the boat, as well as installing the live scope transducer into the shaft and whatnot. That one is gonna be a little bit more in depth. So I'm gonna do that future uh, video here in the future shortly. But as always guys, stay tuned for more tips and tricks on MG Marine Tech.